And today we are in my living room and I would like to introduce you to our roommate, this is Demo. He's very happy to be in the video. As you might know, we've been to Japan recently to visit friends and family. If you don't know it, my husband is Japanese, so we go there quite often and I used to live there for one and a half years, uh, a couple of years back. And as you can see, I bought a bunch of stuff and I wanted to show you what I got. The first thing I bought is Sokenbicha. I know it's quite ridiculous, it's a tea and uh, it's, well, you can't find, I couldn't find it in Europe so far and I couldn't find it in tea bags or in a powder state. So I used to go in uh, convenience stores or at the um, machines to get this tea. I love it because it tastes of coffee but it has no caffeine and it even states it on the label. And when I used to live in Japan I used to drink it more or less on a daily basis and I really really missed it. So first thing is the ridiculous tea. Second off I got this actually from my mother-in-law. It's amazake. It's freshly made sake. It's still white and you find it mostly at uh, uh, celebrations, festivities, festivals and in temples. I love it because it's quite sweet and delicate and it's very easy to drink. So yeah, no, I'm not an alcoholic though. Then I finally got a bento box. I've been looking for a bento box for a very long time and all I could find is all, only the plastic versions or the metal versions but I wanted a bento box that is in wood and uh, glazed wood in the typical uh, traditional Japanese style. This I also got from my mother-in-law so I'm very grateful for her. And you have two different levels for a lot of bento. I am not entirely sure how often I will be using it, but yeah, I'm very happy to have it finally. Then I got this at the Yakuen shop, a 100 yen shop. It's, uh, well, it says that it shapes boiled eggs in the shape of Doraemon. I haven't used it yet, but I will show you how it goes the first time I try it. I'm very excited to be able to create something with shapes because I'd like to make mantles with different huge shapes like you see them on the internet. Next I got another thing from my mother-in-law. It's these mentaiko slightly hot beans. Mentaiko is a type of fish roe and it's traditional for the region that my husband is from. He's from the southern island of Kyushu from Fukuoka and yeah. I really love them when we try them in the shop and she surprised me by buying them. Next thing I have umeboshi. I love these sour plums. Usually you eat them with rice, but I also eat them alone, just by themselves. And here in Europe I can only find the more wrinkly version of them. And these are karikari, so they are crunchy and yeah, I love them. Last food item, I have Hakata Torimon. These are typical sweets from Hakata, also known as Fukuoka. Once again, the city my husband is from. And they are filled with white anko. And they are my absolute favorites when it's about sweets. This is a very cool box. And inside you have the sweets which I will be eating in, another, in a later stage. So let's move further. I was wrong, I have one other food item but I didn't buy it. We got it as a courtesy from the place we stayed when we went to the onsen. And this is a homemade apple jam. I'm really curious how that will taste. This kind of tea protection that you put around your bottle. You got it at the convenience store if you bought a certain type of green tea, I don't remember which one. You could choose the different colors and you can put to your bottle. There you go. So it looks cute. 
And we actually have two of them because we drank a lot of tea. Next off, I have a lot of different plates and teapots. So let's start. This one is a bowl for grinding sesame seeds with the pesto. And you can just make sesame seed powder for making sauces or for sprinkling over ramen or anything. Two rice bowls for eating rice. They're made out of polished wood and well, they reminded me of ancient Japan, so I needed the wooden ones and not the plastic ones or the porcelain ones. I have a matcha whisk. I love green tea and I love matcha, so I needed to buy one, but not any type of whisk. I needed to buy one in Japan. And together I have a bowl. This is a quite expensive bowl, so let's hope that I won't break it. It's wrapped in a wooden box. Here's the bowl. It's handmade and I like the sakura blossoms, the cherry blossoms on it. And I thought it was very cute together with the matcha set. We got a plate for sushi or sashimi. I like the green color because it reminds me of the Japanese the landscape and the forests. And we have a wasabi grater. I'm one of the crazy people in the world that loves to eat wasabi just like this by itself. So I needed one of these to have freshly grated wasabi. Next up is a teapot. An iron cast iron teapot. It's actually quite heavy. And it's for making green tea. Um, yeah, I've always wanted one. And when I saw it, it had exactly the right shape, the right color, and the right size, so I had to get it. Some plates for sauces. It was difficult to choose, I would have liked to buy everything in the shop. And we have another type of bowl for daikon or something. And this plate. I'm not entirely sure what I will be using it for, but I thought it was really nice in the very nice blue, and I love the color blue, so here's the plate. And the long-awaited ramen bowls. I don't have ramen bowls. I have searched for them for a long time. We agreed together with my husband to buy them in Japan, so we stay true to our promise, and here we have it. That's it for the plates. Let's move on to what we have. Clothing. As you can see, I bought two t-shirts from Gudetama. I think Gudetama is cute because he's lazy and he speaks funny. So, number one. And number two, this is my favorite. I also got at the 100 yen shop these socks. And since I wear geta, I needed these types of socks in order not to break on my other socks. And if you want to know what they're called, this type of sock is called tabi. And the original one for kimonos can be quite expensive, so 100 yen shop is just as fine. I also got a pair of socks from Totoro. Totoro is my absolute favorite character in the, all the movies of Ghibli. I watched them all, and yeah, I absolutely love the photo. I also have two towels. I tend to take towels with me in my bag for drying my hands when I go to a bathroom. And yeah, that's something that most Japanese people do, so I think that's an influence I got when I was living in Japan. And I got this backpack. A lot of people stopped me in the streets all over Japan complimenting my backpack and I'm very proud of it. Here's the Toro in backpack version. You can take this. What is it? Not? And here you can store not a lot of stuff but just enough to take with you. I also bought myself a uh, Kimono. I won't be showing it in this video because 
it's out of silk and I don't want to break it. I will be uploading a video about how to wear it. I still have to learn together with my husband how to wear it. I know that I have to, I need someone to dress me. Uh, so it's going to be fun. But I got one of these hairpins. Because I like to put my hair up. I don't like my hair to be loose. I like it tied up and up in updos. So I thought this might look cool. Then I got a dalma. This you find usually at temples and it's for expressing wish wishes. You paint one eye uh, when you make your wish and when this wish comes true you paint the other eye to show that it came true. I bought a cheap version, version of it because I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So a dharma usually cannot fall over. But my cheap version magically manages not to stand up again. I also bought some traditional toys. This, this is a type of uh, old Japanese game. Uh, when I used to live in Japan, we went a couple of times to this um, museum at Ueno that shows old toys from 100, 200, 300 years ago. And it was really cool to play them. So when I saw that in Asakusa there was a shop that sold old toys, I had to get them. This is a spinning top. Then I have this iconic toy that I used to play even with when I was a kid because we had them in Italy too. But I was never really good at it. And then my, my husband talked me into buying this. And I think that's it for now. Uh, I will be uploading the kimono and the yukata that I got from my mother-in-law once again in a later video. So thanks for joining me and well, I hope you liked it. Bye!